What? What? He got it! You're kidding! Hey guys, it would really help and appreciate it if you press the subscribe button. Sorry to bother you in the video. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, what we got for me? What we got? What do you got for me? Nico Annie is important. Alistar. T1 Ben Alistar. LeBlanc went through a lot last time. I think a lot of LeBlanc fell off. There's the Rakan Ben. Whoa, Alistar Nautilus. Rel is OP now. Okay, there goes the Rel. Four support bands. I think a Jax is also something that was a big pick in the KT T1 series last time. Well, not a big pick, but Jax was... It's always a contested. Blit they just triple ban support. Actually, this is such a weird strat. Lehens is probably like, what the fuck? They can Azir, they can Sejuani, they can Maokai, they can Kai'Sa, they can Aatrox, they can Jax, they can Leona. Maybe nah. Are we gonna go down to Lulu lanes? I feel like Lulu lanes might be OP now. Maokai first pick. Now, yeah, Azir for BDD takeaway would be big here. First stating Azir for a game one in the specified for him would be great. Azir Kaisa would be KT nutshell. They should 100% pick Azir. They want to take Sejuani. Mm. I feel like you're guaranteed Sejuani on three. I don't see why you wouldn't take Azir. Oh well. Melio could be really broken as well with these support bends. T1, don't do Jace. Please don't do Jace. Aatrox, I like Aatrox. Zeus Aatrox, classic. Keen will probably slam Jax on three. Or Camille or something, or Fiora. Okay, good. We didn't go Jace. Perfect. So it goes Zerath, yeah. I really like the Jax, though. Ooh. I think not. I think dropping Jax is going to hurt Zerath game one. Okay, so, I mean, T1's top side is really strong. T1 can ban out top, so their top side should be stronger. KT can target Bot. Lucian Nami. Yeah, I think Aphelios span actually is not too bad. They're banning more supports! Is it Aphelios or is it Draven? Ooh, I think everything else is manageable, unless you're scared of Samira. What the fuck are we playing bot lane now? Amumu ban? There is... A, there's eight support bans! Why isn't he playing Jack's Keen? Okay, sure. They're gonna go Cassante, Sejuani, and Aatrox. That's gonna be a bit scary later on. Zeri, Lulu, don't talk. Yeah. Singed! Singed support into Lulu! Are you crazy? What? He went Singed support! You're fucking cooked, Lehens. I swear to god, this guy is a psychopath. Lehens has played... I think he's played six games of Singed support, and he's won all of them. And they were all against Yumi. I know, he's 6-1. and one. Every single one of those games was against Yumi, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and as, as long as they don't... Are they not absolute degenerates running into KT? I think they... Oh, this is the have every objective. Level they have one. way more DPS with Maokai. See what happens with Serat though. Serat gets ahead, obviously. It's cringe. Oh. Really too much and looking at the rune choices... Whoa, oh, we go in! Never you mind! Okay, Carrier is immediately going well, to Well, they got heal. lane pressure now. And he has Hex Flash, so I don't think Lehens cares about his Flash. Did he, oh, he played it at Worlds and lost. Oh, yeah. I, that's why I thought he was 6-0. Uh, so, um, once you get to the point where there's enough uh, damage... Oh, he's dead. Oh, what? That Bramble Smash. E, that, that Maokai E. That Maokai Q. Oh, he got him. Big kill for the Azir. That's a big kill for the Azir. I feel like an early Merc Treads from Azir would be great here. I mean, he's he's far enough ahead that I think a, no flash on, on Zerath. He gets 6 by like 6.37 minutes. Merc Treads first base. I think he should definitely look for that. And he could go Lost Chapter, you know, but I feel like Merc Treads is for sure like guaranteed re-kill on Zerath. Whoa, Zeus! Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Zeus Aatrox, baby. Wow, oh, these lanes are going good for, for T1. I feel like KT runs out of time, you know? I think first trade going over to KT was really important, though. That hurts T1 a bit. Harold's still up, though. Oh, Faker got stunned. He might get pissed on. Oh, yeah. Nice dash. I think he should be fine. Oh, he's cute backwards. He's dead, actually, isn't he? Wow. That's a big kill for KT. Bit of a mistake by Guma. He tried to crash the wave when his team's top side. Well, wow, Zeus is really far ahead in CS. What the hell? 20 CS up in this matchup? 20 CS up in that matchup? Holy smokers. I feel like the matchup gets harder later on, doesn't it? I thought it was, like, manageable early. Yeah. Third time is the charm for mid lane. Nah, he's fine, isn't he? Unless the cars can block. Oh, he sidestepped the dodge. Oh my... Ah! 
Bro. Every time KT are really level stacking level up these rakes. If they can roll an Infernal Soul happen. with Seraph, Kai'Sa, Stormraiser, Kai'Sa? I've never Kaisa seen Stormraiser Kaiser. Uh, the only Stormraiser I've seen is Stormraiser Caitlyn and Stormraiser Jinx. Because you're forced, your first auto is long range, so you can slow and then follow up. Why does he need Stormraiser against their, their champs? Wait, it doesn't slow anymore? It gives you move speed? Holy fuck, that's how trash that item is. I don't even fucking use it anymore. I like Chronicler's idea. Maybe he can keep up with Zeri. And as much as that makes sense in isolation, Kai says never gonna keep up with Zeri. The only time Kai says diving on Zeri is when Zeri CC'd, otherwise he gets one shot by Zeri Lulu. I think he might have missed it, you know. There's the early TP from Kasante. That means that T1 can play for bot tier 1. Whoa, it is a bit laggy, isn't it? You can see Kane already teleporting in. Here's the nature's grass, though. Is now Kane. Oh, we got the knock. Where's the W? Owner smite. Oh, Guma got hit and he has no cleanse. Faker shuffles in again, but can't get a push. Seems to get murdered in fights. Need to make sure they don't overchase, though. There's no singe. Yeah, down goes Zera. Faker in the t in the wasn't the the series versus Gen G. He played Azir like three times, and in three of those games he dashed forwards and just died all the time. Oh, Faker got stunned. He could have flashed there, but yeah. Drake in 15. They have no TP on Kasante. TP is up on Aatrox. They got the thing is these T1 side lanes. KT have to be there earlier it seems. So I think Zeus can maybe just push in till Drake's up. They got bot tier one when Harold was being contested because Faker can push out, but Zeus wants to group it looks like. Getting the river is a bit annoying in Seraph and Kaisa. But it's not the AP Kaisa. Oh, Zeus can get a good position here, but they have pinks. Maokai ult does so much work against their champs. Faker wanted to go in again. Oy. Oh, down goes Kuz. Their raw team fighting is so much better. No, he can't. Lens is dead. The Singe is useless. Yeah, Lens is just like trying to fake pressure that he can go in here, but yeah. Aatrox, 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 Aatrox. Stormraiser Rage Blade. I've never seen this Kai'Sa build before. Side lane pick. No flash for a little bit. The Kai'Sa side lane gank worked. Oh, Faker might. He has to run here. That's a big side lane gank. Good play by aiming. Can't really get anything off it though. Can't get bot tier one. Can't get mid tier one. Oh. Could happen again. Does he have Evolve? No, he doesn't. He w a few times. Oh, There's what a flash a by Keen. That a flash by Keen was insane. He W'd his, da his dash. Oh, that was insane like by Keen. KT could try to force Nash kind of if they, they get that pink turf. in the pit. T1 is over well, committing a lot Drake for this. They're committing four people for Drake. Three people. But Luhulu doesn't really count. What can Luhulu do here? Baker no TP. They could play to finish here with a Sejuani ult. Yeah, they're going to play to finish. Wow, that was a big mistake by T1. That was a big mistake by T1. They're all murdered, though. The team fights are not even fair in this draft. She's just trying to keep them here. It does not work. Team fights aren't even fair in that draft. A couple of these. Yeah, mid tier two off that, maybe top tier two. This is actually a real threat. Here comes that old. Who's this? Nature's grass does come through here as Kane trying to mitigate that CC. Does it? Bye bye, Zeref. That's BDD. Locked down the rest of KT just scattering. Cause nothing. Bye bye, Zeref. It's another kill in the middle. I I just think this KT draft is so horseshit. Don't pick Singe. I mean, game two will be a lot different because KT can choose blue side and they don't have to drop support this late. Stop saying game on Andy. I just said KT will do better in game two. Dumb fuck. I don't know. Maybe this Kai'Sa build is too cooked. But I don't think... I think Kai'Sa got a five tiers and he would still lose. No matter, you had a five infinity and he would lose. Doesn't matter what he has. Mid jungle is useless. There's a level 10 Singe on my screen. And... Uh, Aiming is dead. Down to his GA now as Gumiyushi is causing BDD to have to get out of here. The stun's not going to work. The cleanse is beautiful. Ono locks down one. And T1, they don't even need a Baron to win.
win this game, I don't think. Yeah, so Lehen's no more singed. Out of game one. Of course, Lehen's is probably one of the best players on KT. Seven support bands, eight support bands. Have been phenomenal on the blue Nine side, if you count the Lulu pick. Great start in this series. Last time they oh lost my god, game Zeus. One. This time they're celebrating on the oh enemy my god, Zeus. At the end of game one, look at these extendo beams from Gumiushi having a day out on the Zeri here in this Ooh, one. one. They take down the remaining turret. Yeah, goes, yeah. Carrier is going to suffer a death. This is his first All right, one well, that was a stomp. So we'll give it to messy, messy, messy. Whoa, a, we, we got the fireworks out already, guys. So it's only game so one. And the mid, like T1 will 1 2 Zaya if it's open. Or they'll ban it now. Azir? They think Azir is strong? Yeah, Zeri is what the one. fuck? This is that aiming one You're gonna give T1 like Zaya Rakan? Uh, surely T1 goes Zaya well. Rakan, right? I'm not cooked. Like, this is not tw spring split, right? This is not spring split. I'm not cooked. Am I cooked? Zeus Aatrox. Like it. Now, Rel is open. Sejuani is open. If you pick AD here, you can pick support on 3. If you pick jungle, then I guess they're doing full topside. I guess they either do Aatrox jungle Azir slash mid, or they do... Why don't they pick Zaya Rakan? It's like Zaya Rakan, Carrier, Guma is... It's their best champs, I'm convinced. I mean, the only other logic I can think of is they're saying we can pick AD on 3, because there's Kai'Sa, Draven, Zaya. And he'll get one on three no matter what. And four. But I really think that taking Rakan was so. They could pick Rel here, KT, or Azir. Or Jax. Where's the Jax side into this Aatrox? Is Faker going to play Tristana mid into it? What? They're going to keep him Azir. We just picked Viego. I don't know why. I'm, my head's everywhere. I'm just like. It is way too dank. They didn't take away Azir. Things. They banned Lucian on blue side. T1 up. didn't take Zyra like Rakan. But I guess they got Aatrox, which is fine. I mean, and I understand T1 the, the most because you have... They can't ban like Draven, Kai'Sa, and Zyra, right? Yeah. They That's should also think about TF. Of, you might think, uh, why should they think about TF? BD TF? Something they should maybe think about if they do Jax TF 4-5. I would love a TF ban. They ban Mila. Just, why don't we just give them our Nexus? I don't get it there. A very KT thing here would be uh, TF Jax on 4-5. If you look at game 1 as well, the only way they found leads was through sides. But also Rel is open, like what? Can't they just pay any AD carry in Rel? I mean, they can do... They can do a Filios Lulu. Oh my god. Guys, we can't win team fights. Please just pick your t TF or something. KT's just... I don't understand it too much. Maybe I'm like... Maybe there's something that I'm completely missing, but... I feel like they just tried to salvage a losing team fight. But I don't think they can win. Fights. Unless Renekton somehow gets super far ahead this game. Also, no, there was no Kai'Sa Zaya prior early, and T1 gave over Rakan. The only reason I think that it's a bit worrying for T1 to give over Rakan is Lehenz is a really good engaged support. Like, he is so good at engaged support. His Alistar is insane. Uh, his North is insane. His Rakan is insane. Feels I'm surprised like the they didn't deny it from him. This time is to some like if Lehenz was the one playing Lulu, early. I would feel if a lot more confident as T1. Him, because uh, Lehenz is not a huge Lulu here. player. In, I mean, obviously fights he can play well it, right? But I think the way KT damage. works. I do like Wait, is Faker has Hail of Blades in this lane. Keen just took a tower shot? Two tower shots. Well, I think... Top on the bounce should start winning, though. Aatrox is level 4 first. Renekton's half HP. <laughs> but obviously he doesn't have jungle, so Zeus has to play it a little bit safe. So rough. Owners wrap it around now no, can they dive bot? No they don't have Ignite. Uh, I don't know if they can dive that. I mean, they, they're gonna look for a dive here. They don't have Ignite. They're going on Rakan. Oh my god, it was so clean. What am I even talking about? What the fuck is this Aldi gaming dog shit? What is that? Uh, go away! I did not expect the dive to be that clean. What the fuck? Polymorph Rakan, Sejuani Q, and he's dead? That's it? They just wanted to flash. Yeah. yeah, they have so much damage. Renekton ults and he stuns. Flash W Renekton one shot. Ooh, carry no flash, but where's Viego? There's no way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lehenz is like... I don't know if he's going in too early or if Kuz is going in too late, but... How do we not kill there? Lulu's underneath the tower against a level 6 Viego. And he's knocked up and he gets out there. Like, uh, huh? 
gets a plate for himself. <laughs> and now Rennington can run to Herald and force him back. Nice, fine. Can't get the buff, though. Baker, you want to go in for the buff? They can't get it. So, big CS lead top. Bots winning for T1. They lost uh, sums though. Like yeah, Keen has no ult. Yeah, Keen had no had ult. This play is hard, but he has no ult. He's gonna turn up now. Zeus World Ender has been popped. Let's see whether he can land the chains. There's the flash forward. Flash comes out as Keen is gonna clean by owner. Very clean by owner. Q flash W makes him flash the W, otherwise he procs the E, procs the E anyway. Because of the auto attack from Aatrox and ults on top of it. Boom. Dead. Whoa, Caraman, where are we going? We're going mid. Chains you see dead. Oh, oh, ah, ah! Nah, he's dead for sure, right? There's no way he's out there. He can't execute, can he? Nah, it's too early. You see his little smile? Bro, he's tanking the gankings, man. He's tanking them. An extra plate for Guma. Shared between three. They have really good bot vision here, T1. And Keen has no TP, so I don't think they're ever scared of a flank other than any. Bottom lane doing fantastic things here. The Mushi Carrier having a good time. His owner getting pushed away, but does find. Oh, nice route with the Q on top of from Sedge. Oh, Lahenz is really struggling this series. All Zeus has to do is just go even, and even right now he's up a level. Well, he's up not a full level, right? But he's up an XP. Next Rake will be pretty important for T1, though. Did Guma get a full... Yeah, he did get a full tower. Mamma mia. They can run out mid with Zyra Rakan now and take Rake. Drake is going to spawn in 40 Rakan? seconds time, and so now T1 with so much extra control of that bottom side is owner moving towards this top lane. Keen trying to just start the fight, but Kerry is even here. I have a feeling this crocodile is ahead. T1 are just, just everywhere. On his own terms, by the looks of T1 so are everywhere. But it's also here. like, I, I don't want to say it's telegraphed, but Lulu bases, bot tower dead. The There's two places and she can be. I, mid or top. I think it's no hey, Drake fight. Save has TP. Hail of Blades. Ult is fine, not the best. I know Faker wants to dash in here. But they have a lot of CC. But Zeus saying that he doesn't want to TP. He just wants top tower. I think the reason he does that is Zeus is probably sitting on a lot of gold. He's sitting on Serrated Dirk Longsword. Okay, well. I guess we just can't flash that. Stop it with the Aldi gaming, man! Zeus is finishing Grump. Yo, Zeus, get off that fucking Grump. If he's forced to ult just cuz, then you get off the grump, Zeus! Okay, we're not fighting this. Why aren't we fighting this? Oh, nice engage by KT. What is, what is, what is T1 doing? Why are they not just taking the fight? They're gonna herald mid now. Oh, no, they didn't, they didn't, wait, what? Who got herald? Wait, T1 got herald? Wait, wait, what? Why are they chasing so far, KT? Look at them. No, they only lose their Lulu. Now they lose Midwave. Now they can't uh, get anything from the kill. And they just waste... KT! They are over chasing like fuck. Oh, Faker doesn't even have a Mythic yet. Maybe that's why they don't want to fight. Faker, no Mythic. Guma, two items. What the hell? Like here. They get a Zaya Flash. They should go mid. No. Go mid. They don't get the eye. They over chase through top. They waste time. And they don't get mid tower. What's this fight situation? Yeah, aiming, clearing out that control ward from max range. Ooh. Let's see whether they can steal this away. It's not going to be allowed to, but now... Oh, big turn by KT. T1 need to run. One sec, my doorbell rang. They trade to isolate. But again, I think T1 Zeus are just slowly winning. Like when Baron... When Baron... Ends up going for an early rush comes through after Nashris really on Faker. KT, is KT are going to be pulled around the map. Uh, oh, if they can get any flash. Oh, no. well, the back is I think there's loads of conditions if you want to start Nash with your champs here for T1. If they don't have any or... Or Rakan flash, here, that's an easy Baron. T1 will KT always try to sneak Nash, always. On. I don't know who KT it is, I feel like it's Carrier, but they always to love to sneak it. To yeah, it does have his crown, and they're gonna oh, Lehens, that was clean. Does he die? The, uh, the at the no, he doesn't. He just gets himself out does he? Oh, Q from Oder. Nice flash by BDD, but that got nothing. It's Zeus time, baby! 
Oh, that roots from Zuma. Oh, Zeus. What a turnaround by T1. It's the classic Faker Global Taunt. Try and kill him. Try it. Oh, that was... So many things went right for T1 there. I mean, well played by Lehens. As soon as he blast cones over, he, he ults flashes to stop the dash. Gets the knock up. Faker then EQs. Flashes towards his team. Aiming gets queued by Sejuani. Carrier flash ults him. Now watch here. BDD flashes onto Carrier, but Guma free hits. No Rakan ult, no Annie ult, no Renekton W. He can step up, play frontline Zaya. Nice route onto the Renekton. Now Zeus here lands a Q1 that's really big. And then flash QE2. Boom. I don't even think it's draft. T1's just playing a hundred times better. This isn't draft. Owner's early game way better. KT's plays are all desperate. They're all so desperate. KT is approaching plays as if if they don't make this play happen, they're going to lose the game. Every play is like that. Like they're over chasing, over desperate. <clears throat> they're never covering any lanes. Cuz is not covering anyone. Really, really Their plan so far this game, this series was gank mid, take Drake. Oh, Kuma. Nice knock up by the hens. That's a big shutdown for Zeri. Does Zeus have GA? What the fuck? The answer is yes on the now down to his GA though as now Zeus is looking for aiming. Oh, that's two huge shutdowns to Zeri and an objective down. Wait, they get down. objective Maybe. bounty top two. Baker might need to TP to protect it, but I don't think he can. Oh, static shift cancelled him. The amount of value they got, they got two shutdowns on Zeri. And they got Zeus' GA, which is another heap of gold worth for the next couple minutes. Yeah, I don't know if these Zeri items change the game. Maybe. It's gonna have if to the be Zeri had the Lulu, they could win. What I feel like KT game. might be able to win a fight. So squishy. Could really be a the this is really board. desperate. The like, what are they doing? Spot. Never mind. He there goes their win a fight. Like, what are they even doing? Like, what is happening? What are they doing? What do you mean they're out macroing them? KT is just... What is KT doing? I'm so mad. KT, wake up. Wake up, KT. But they saw the ward. They must have saw the ward being... They must know someone's around here. Because they saw the ward. They didn't see the ward. Zeri has BT. Annie has TP. Annie has flash soon. Look at the TPs he has behind. Yeah. Here it comes, baby. Where is the Annie? Where is the Annie? Where is Waldo? There he is. They know he's there, so they turn down. Oi, mama. Nice stopwatch by Keen, though. Nice stopwatch by Keen, though. He's one shot, cuz. Uh, everyone's one shot. It's a, it's, a, it's a montage. It's a montage. Everyone's got so much damage. It, they, they can't die. Zeus. And he's there. I found her. No, ain't no way is this team getting... No. No. Is it a trio? Ain't no way. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. Red side doesn't seem to matter. Wow. This squad is just a, uh, All right, T1, well, let's not troll. No brown, no vein. Okay, uh, no far. fucking troll it's picks. Summer. No kindred, no Kazix. Okay. I, for me, I think just players right here. Really play your fucking, for, for play your fucking Zeri, your Zaya, your Rakan, your Lulu, your Sejuani, your Maokai, your Aatrox. Ooh, they're all closing eyes. Apart from Guma. Now it's time for Faker Scorky. You'll know, just pick Annie or something, won't he? Just don't pick Jace. Zaya Rakan's up. Don't first pick Zeri. Please don't first pick Zeri. Like, wake the fuck up. Zaya, Rel. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking, KT. We've, we woke up. We're here. They really want Zeri Lulu, don't they? Why? This is so weird to me. Like, there's no trend in this series at all. The only trend is Aatrox is here. Kaisa's open. Zaya's open. Rakan. Yeah, Lulu's good here. Poppy's really good here as well. Poppy, Lulu. This is Le this is Karia's third Lulu game in a row, no? I mean, they should probably just ban Zeri as well here, T1. Zaya is also fine, but I feel like Zeri helps her draft a bit. Actually, I think Jack's ban was pretty good there. I think Zaya's 
Jack's area doesn't matter. I think Jack's away. might be a problem. Kind of I really think it's time for Jack's team. What jungler's owner plays? You're not playing Kha'Zix. I do not allow Kha'Zix. Well, it's going to be a five-game series. T1's doing it again. I fucking hate it when they do this. I fucking hate it when they do this. Cassiopeia for Faker. Okay, I like that. Pops winning. Early. Keen does a flash in Q3. Yeah, does find the Q3 there as well. As now Zayas looks for the knockup, does get it, but it's a decent stun. The uh, chain does come down, and another Q is going to connect. Does he find the Q3? That's the question. The answer Saves is no. his flash. He doesn't even flash. I thought no. for sure he flashes for that. They don't, don't have any damage. Hey, Guma Carrier is doing well in bot. Blue and white guns. And is Baker gets a free base. Yeah, a pretty even game. Pretty even game. Yeah, Zeus lost a lot of minions. It's fine though, he's fine in XP. But yeah, definitely Cassante will win this lane now. I think early it's good for Cassante. Nice early Drake by T1. Oh, nice flash by Faker. There's that mana for ult. Cuz flailed. He just got mana. But did he just fail? the flash queue guma time maybe going to dash on forward it could be dangerous though because the blender is set up for guma you should be guma is just murdering them aiming's gonna clean though aiming's gonna clean nice polymorph from carrier it's a quadra for aiming triple kill i don't know if that's a zeri moment that was such a long fight so flashes trade. I thought Faker had mana for ult here. He flashes the ult from BDD, gets slowed. But what was that Cuz flash Q? That was disgusting. That's a re remake worthy. No, is that the well flash Q bug? No, he didn't go over a wall though. Kuma flashes the knock up. Big big kills for the Zeri. No flash on Guma. When the hands hit six, he needs to be a bit careful. I don't know what his timer is though. He has no ult yet. Oh, owner. Over. owner oh, BDD was in the middle of his auto attack. That's unlucky. He just sidestepped as he autoed. This is KT. This is a better draft. This is what we're talking about. Well played by BDD. I don't know if it was intentional that dodge, but it was a good dodge. When Zeri gets her base off and gets Shiv, Rakan can leave her in lane. This is really important. Zeri got cancelled on her base, so. Kassante? What Rakan can do is roam around when Zeri base and gets Shiv, she can just catch waves and one-shots them. And Rakan is probably close to six. Alright, there's a static Shiv. Now Zeri plays in isolation easy. Drake's up in 40, though. I think KT should 100% look for a Drake fight. For a fight for now, and they're going to use this Herald here, bottom side, get aiming some additional plate going get prior for this dragon oh well, the chains you see is big just going to get engaged on oh carrier flash engaged great wild growth as carrier dives forward flash engage what but still they're not going to be able to lock him down i believe nothing. they denied plates though the decent base is the only problem for kt if they could collapse with Rosanna, this would be a horror for t1 but he had the base for shift but it doesn't matter because now he's standing on a still kt favorite though how does t1 hold this plates are falling faker has tp but yeah this is a really, really heavy KT favorite game. There's TP wards behind. They see it instantly. They saw it instantly. Oh my god, they're gonna lose mid tower from that, aren't they? Uh, Faker kind of wants a four spot because he can't get the mid in time. KT are playing really crazy if they want to hold this. Makes no sense, it's 1 HP. I mean, they got first tower mid. So worth it for KT. That bot tier one is also pretty easy to pick up. This is BDD returning. Oh, they don't have TPs to defend this. They're both dead. It's game four. This is 100% game four. Double AD carry being up 4k gold or something in the first 15. Yeah, it's hard to play. They have Casio, I guess, T1. But Kazix, man, I hate that champ so much. Not that Owner did anything wrong, it's just he can't do anything. Right, because he's playing Kazix. Wow, is that a bot here too? No, I can't get it, maybe. And then you oh, he got it. Oh, I man, this area is fucking 7.6k. He's staying There's more. No he wants that. another wave for an item. You're so, so greedy, Amy. You even E forward to the wave, to you little rat. Now they'll play mid to top, get but, top tier one. I mean, now, Faker doesn't really have a tower to go back to. You can see KT spacing, trying not to give him that petrifying gaze angle. He may find it. Oh, he dodged it. 
BDD just sidesteps. That was gorgeous. Oh, now Kerry is dead. Facing him, but no. Split second, and now Kerry is going to turn. Well, they're not even going to lose Dragon for this, are they? I think they can get there in time. They base quick. They have double items on 88 8 minutes. Wee wee wee. T1 are fighting this. It would be such a T1 thing to randomly win this fight and then turn the whole game around. But I don't think they can. I feel like they're too strong. Oh, Faker's dead. Faker's dead. Yeah. I think that is definitely it now. Maybe they can get mid tier 2 off that as well. Big wave. Big, big game by KT. They've realized how to... I don't want to be that guy, but I feel like they've really learned to draft in game 3. Their last two games were just like... More so what they were giving T1 rather than what they were playing themselves. They literally gave T1 so much free win. Champs. I mean, you see they had Aatrox, Sejuani, or Maokai with Azir. And they just played a Lulu lane with infinite support bands both times. I mean, granted, game two they had Rakan, but... I feel like this is much better from KT. Okay, the Kha'Zix is now useful. Level 11, he's in the game. Yes, they are going to be able to use one. As now Ona, can he just dive in and steal it? The answer is yes, he can dive in. Can he actually steal it? Oh, well? that was close. Oh, that was 130. That was close. Respect. Nice try. But it's just a T1 classic as well. Oh, we're up 2-0. Oh, let me play Cassiopeia Kha'Zix real quick. Why? 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 Why can't we just play Poppy and, and fucking... Poppy and fucking Ari or Vi or some fucking useful champs. Or, I don't know, LeBlanc. I don't really care. They're one twoing Aphelios Lulu. Kaisa, Zaya, Zeri, Aphelios are up four ABs. And they're one twoing Aphelios Lulu. Or one, two, three. Like, why? Why can't we just pick useful champs? Kha'Zix is losing 1v1 to the AD carry. Oh, yeah, well, that just means it's GG. Yeah, they're under so much pressure here, T1. Maybe just an ult flash from Cassiopeia onto Zeri, pray that it lands. I think that's the only play they have left. Fakers has to ult flash on someone, try and hope it lands. Where's the ult flash? He should come out now. You can tell because of how far up he's playing. KT's not giving it to him though. I'm still waiting for this Faker ult flash. They're losing all their inips. Uh, KT are playing very safe. They're not getting sucked into it. They just need this minion hip. You won't have to fight this minion hip no matter what. No matter what, they have to fight this minion hip. If they don't fight this minion hip, it's over. It's completely doomed. Yeah, they're giving it. Uh, here come. It's also on a trip. Triple inhib timer as well, look at that. What a timer. I'm still waiting for this Cassio ult flash. I just want to see if he lands it, that's all. KT can just go Nash now. Oh, Vigor has to flash backwards. Okay, no surprise, GG. Alright, so we got a series at least. Some good draft all right. Is all they need. I think KT have figured out a bit of draft things KT that work for them. That's really important. And T1 did their thing where they just grief the draft for no reason. I think I think T1 should also take that last game and adapt a bit. I don't think giving them Rel first pick is doing you any favors at all. With owner with with Sejuani Maokai being down and them picking Rel, what does owner play? Trundle? All right, KT need to figure out red side. Okay, I think Rel first pick's good. Blitzcrank ban first pick Rel. That's what they did in game one. They didn't first pick Rel. Tristana ban? Yeah, I like that as well. I like that a lot as well. Alright, no Tristana for B D D D D D these nuts. Sejuani. Rel, 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 Rel. Rel! Don't pick Aatrox, Rel. Oh yeah, Nico's open. What the fuck? I thought they would ban Nico on four, on three. Ooh, they're trading Rel for Nico. Yeah, here comes the Nico Nocturne. 
I do think KT picking Rel Rakan is good. Zaya makes sense though because of the dive. Maybe you risk it. Do you risk it and not pick Rel here? Yeah, I think so. You go Zaya Rakan. I think you risk it. You know why? Because T1 won't pick Rel. Unless they're doing Rel Nocturne. Why the fuck are they playing Nico with Zeri Lulu? Please pick Rel now, please. Mama, Mama Mia, Pizzeria, please. Don't pick any. Don't pick any. Don't pick Talia. Don't troll me. Don't pick Poppy. Pick your fucking Rel. Cuz, get us the game five. I want to see a game five banger. My men's, like my no, men's. Yeah, to see what the bands okay, now T1, what are, what are we cooking up here? What are we cooking up here? What blind tops do you have? Nico now KT could try to deny Cassante, but they don't have any counter picks left if it isn't top, so blinding on four feels a bit painful. There's a Talia ban, there's a Nocturne ban, I think Vi ban would be easy, but actually it's terrible, don't ban Vi. Poppy ban, please Poppy ban, KT. We're playing Rakan Rel, and we might play Ari, we might play fucking LeBlanc, we might play Cassante, Aatrox, Jax, just ban, ban Poppy, it covers off too much. Why ban that useless champer? Really that champ is useless. Now, you could pick Cassante Denial here, but Gwen on 5 can work, so what can you pick mid? Yone? Mm. Ari? Mm. Don't like Ari. I don't like Ari at all. Don't like Lissandra. Oh my god, Poppy here is crazy for T1 now. Oh, please don't pick Poppy. Oh my god, why the fuck are we banning Lee Sin? It's so dog shit. Poppy Gragas! Oh my fucking shit. What do you got, King? You need a super counter pick here. Don't pick Jax. I mean, he's gonna pick Jax, but don't pick Jax. Don't pick Renekton. Rise top! Rise top! Right! Right! Rise top! Now, T1 don't have that much damage. But they have a lot of counter to enemy comp. Okay, Rise top. Why do I have a feeling that this champ is gonna do fucking nothing? This champ, I feel like, is gonna do absolutely nothing. And Lehens has to flash level 1 again. It's 3-1, wrap it up. It's wrap it up. Bot is lost and Rise is locked in. Not only losing flash, but Wrap it the fuck up. Okay, that ward from KT on his blue buff is really good. They'll spot out owner. Curse won't have smites for this though. Exactly Lehens is level 1. Much, uh, Bot wave stacking. They can cover you know, the dive, but they can't the cover do. the camps, I think. Uh, maybe camp. maybe Cuz can get it. No, he doesn't have time. Smite just came up now. Yeah, Ari into Nico is not a fun matchup. I feel like they fucked themselves with that Ari blind. They fucked themselves with the non poppy ban. And then they fucked themselves with this rise top. I think Katie's draft is it's just embarrassing, man. Like, what are you doing? And not, not Ari blind. Not Ari blind. I mean, they picked it into Nico. Do they have the damage to kill this Gregus? They can't kill him. And now Zayas in so much trouble. The Rune Prison doing so much work. He does have Flash. He's waiting for a body shot. Two plating spot and 20 CS. Mm, it's just a case of like permanently threatening bot dives. And how do they get out of that? How do they get out of these perma bot dive threats? Nice E. Oh, they're making fun of him. Bot. Zaya E can't even get any fucking value. Oh my god. Guma's positioning was so good. Zaya E couldn't do anything there. BDD yeah, has to lane gank to save them. Well, not lane gank, you know, lane cover. The Maybe he can cook up here. No flash from Carrier. The can Guma kill everyone here? Oh, Guma's fighting that though. Is doing his best to run away. It's not going to quite work out. And now Guma Yushi is fighting the army. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake, Guma. That is a big mistake. He should never do that. He knows Ari has flash. That gives Zaya a kill, a push out, and gets her a free base now. Really smiling. I mean, they lost a lot mid for that. So I guess the idea of this rise top is... That you have free scaling in this matchup. Or what? Because he's going tier rod. 
Uma's dead. Yeah, Maybe. Oh, Lahens can go in. There's the cleanse. They're both so scared. Oh, nice knock by owner. Aiming might be dead. They have to protect him. Oh, but they're all just gonna get chained down. Oh, it hurts. Oh, to the creeps, to the creeps. Yeah, BDD is just trying to roam to save the map. But mid is indeed open. This is unbelievable. He's playing, he's choking the series. This is not the first time he does things like this. I mean, they might be able to chase owner down, but what will they lose for it? Yeah, he should die now. Not go into the realm warp as the Magnus Thorn oh, Owner's just so fucking with them. Maybe their jungler for a herald, but this one's going down very, very slowly. And they the can't get herald down in time, can they? The Unless maybe they can. They Where's BDD's TP? They give it? Okay. Aiming's too low. So well, they got a kill for a herald. I think that's really fine for T1 because they'll put the plates on to Zeri. That route lasts longer than my career, man. It's absurd, Nico E. Well, the rise is up in gold, but I don't know what the rise does. We'll see. We let him scale, we let him cook. How is PD level 9? I know he lost a lot of creeps, but fuck me. He's close to level 10 at least. I don't know how much the rise offers in fights. He doesn't have ever frost, he has nothing. Oh, he missed owner. Oh, Faker. Aiming has no pullback. There it is, finally. Here comes the rise. Oh, BDD have charm. Oh, nice ult by Carrier. They're all so low. Where was Aiming's E when he ulted? He could have one-shot Faker. Yeah, Faker diff, man. That champ's so absurd, man. He, like, he's invisible when he does this. Do we let the rise cook? They could they could rise ult the Rel Rakan on top of the Nico. No, that doesn't sound very enjoyable at all. They completely uh, missed. Clatos, oh. Now Kate is flashing on top of Faker. Kumishi turns up though, and KT are gonna realize that they, they need to be way one. faster. Oh, no. He's here as well. Doesn't quite have the ultimate as another pop. Oh, Faker. Land under two. Keen's underneath the turret. Oh, they have the damage to kill Keen. Faker. Faker's dead. Umas one HP. Oh, T1, no. No, no, T1 classic. No. They're all dead. They're all dead. All of them. That's it. Their whole lead's gone. That's top tier one. They don't lose anything bots. They got Drake off the back of the fight, so there's no soul threat at all for a while. Oh, boy. Aiming's now as strong as Guma. I T1. They're still behind the gold. I mean, the game is much better. Okay, so Drake's in 120. Cuz took away the red. That's pretty big. Look at the items on AD. Like, aiming is ahead. The poppy value is going to be really strong against KT's engage, because all of KT's engage is Rel Rakan. And I guess Ari, kind of. There's not much of a front to back on either side. I mean, you have Zeri Lulu, yeah, but it's also Poppy Nico. I guess they can play for frontline, but KT don't really have that much frontline. They just have Machine Gun Rise and a Rel that's just gonna... I mean, I guess Rel's just gonna die instantly. Like, what is Rel gonna do? I'm worried for T1's damage, though. I'm worried for T1's damage. Like, top is a little bit of damage. Jungle is no damage. Mid is a little bit of damage. It's on the Zeri, really. Level 15? Oh, Rod of Ages just propped. Now he's just one level going back to base. Looking to teleport in here and try and find an angle. They got this TP. Lehens is caught. Oh, Lehens. I don't think T1 can do it again, though. Their damage is really low on Nash. And Keen's on a ward, so he's got no play there. He pinked it. They are going to go for it again. Oi, that's going to be a bit risky. They can be chunked out a bit. Oh, Charm missed, though. And Q missed. Their Baron's quite slow. They can tank it, though. Faker's TPing from there to here to try and threaten them. I think he's a distraction so they can finish. It was all a distraction. Now it's how much damage can the Rise do? Oh, it can do a lot. To, it can do a lot of damage, but he's going to die. He's going to die. Keen! He has Flash. Lehens is back! Oh, nice cleanse flash from Guma. That was... That was... That was fast. That was a good play by T1. That was a really good play by T1. They have TP on Zeus if they want to hold mid as well. Maybe he doesn't need to. They have to back. 
He can save it. Oh, Faker 07. Good sacrifice. Oh, Keen couldn't get any damage out there. What, what, what happened? Oh, Faker's doing work. He got the pick on De La Hens. He forced the aiming out of the fight. He pulled them towards him. But Keen, I thought he would machine gun them down here. Here, he's just running in a... Yeah, he has no, he has no ability haste. Here, right. How much can he get off this Baron? They don't have many tower hitters, do they? Maybe they can move mid now. KT will have to follow. Yeah, T1 only have Nico as their dive, and the, the Rise does a lot of damage. Faker? Whoa, that's psychotic what he's doing. It could be Guma time, though. Mm, Faker really wanted that tower. The Nico is going to slowly fall off, though. Defensive items will come in. Zaya is going to be hard to kill. Zonia's on Rise is getting built up. Merc Treads are... Well, they've been there for a while, but... Mm, the Nico eventually, like, three, four items. Defensive items come in and it comes hard for him. This is sole point for KT. Top wave's pushing as well, so they're not really under a threat of an end because they got mid wave. BD should probably try to go around the side, or someone should try to go around the side. There's BD. He wants to go around the side, but he's maybe he's not sure. He wants to stay with the team as well. Smite. Go on, Faker! How does he always find these engages? Where's Lahenz's re engage? Oh, he stole it. Where's the pullback? They have more damage. They have more damage. It's on Guma. It's on Guma. It's on Guma. Ah, oh, Guma got stunned. The shield. Keen's back. Oh my god, Guma did 9k damage. Where's Zeus? Where's the damage? It's only Zeri. I think that was it. I think that might be it, you know. I don't know, they won't have Nico flash for Nash in one minute. There's no sums on Zaya, but... Oh, this Ryze is actually doing a bit more than I thought. I thought Keen was dead here. Oh, the knock away on Rel into the three-man engage. It doesn't get better than that, but Keen doesn't die. Gragas E flash R went into the aiming in the Zaya ult. Zaya ulted the Gragas E flash R. I'm surprised Zeus didn't just ult the three men. Maybe he wasn't in range. Well, they lost mid wave though, so KT can need to go back towards mid. They don't have Rise ult though. Guma is split. No, it's not Guma, it's Faker. Faker is just trying to distract him, I guess. The knockback. Oh, he got interrupted by Baron! He got interrupted by Baron! They have to stop. Oh, we, that timing is so unlucky. It should be back up, though. Yeah, it's back up. Poppy ult's back, but the ba Bar they can't do Baron again. They need to get the mid wave. Abyssal Mask is big value for Cuz. Owner? No flash on Poppy. Oh, Faker and BDD reacted quick there. That was a quick reaction. That would have been a route into an ult. This Baron dance doesn't end. You know, there's Banshees. T1 are starting it. Keen doesn't have TP. He might have to rise ult in. Their soul's up in 50 seconds. Faker's on a really good position here. Lens is trying to mark him off. But Faker's always going to try and sneak his way on around the side. Where's the poppy ult? Where's the poppy ult? Here it is. Hits! They could finish! Faker! Oh, he got charmed! He got charmed on it! He's going to die! Cuz! He got it! There's no way! Is that it? Wait, they're winning! They're winning! Oh, Keen! He can't get the Q, he missed! It's Guma time! Uh, Guma, he can't, no, he can't, he can't, he can't, he has to run. Oh, Zeus failed his flash onto Keen. Oh, Zeus didn't get his body slam onto Keen with the flash. Oh, it's so important to get this kill because he has GA. Carrier executed, but they're gonna lose Soul. Shut down onto Zeri. Oh my god, this game. So many things happened in that fight. So many things happened in that fight. That was crazy. That charm just won them the game. This charm from BDD. Oh my god. Is amazing here because if and then watch here, Cuz Q Smite, boom, gets it, Lehens gets knocked in and dies, gets body slammed on his W, has to flash out, BDD walks up and gets smited, watch BDD here, 
just walks up and dies. Now Keen's stuck. He tries to flash forward and get Guma. Guma flashes back. Poppy W on Rakan W was good, but the damage is gone. Zeus E flash hits the Rakan. It doesn't hit the Rise. He could have killed Keen, which would have stopped Guma from dying. So that was really unlucky. I mean, T1 could try and hold out to an Elder. Where is Zeus going? He was getting it. You saw that? Zeus snuck around to get that pink Faker's TP. That could win in the game, you know. Does BDD see it? Whoa, BDD doesn't look... He doesn't check. They have six items there now. And he has Flash soon and the SGA. T1 just needs to stall and hope Guma can just 1d5 them. Faker won't get any more items. The top side of T1 is just there to stall. I don't think Faker should fight here. They should play to stall. There's no point. Whoa, Lehen's got past the poppy. No cleanse. Why, Faker? Why? Why? Why don't they stall out Zeri Flash? Stall out Zeri GA, wait for Elder. That was so impatient. Maybe he thought they had to punish. I don't know. I don't know what his logic was there. I don't know what the logic... It's fishbowl. So, Azir ban needs to happen for KT no matter what, somewhere here. Maokai ban makes sense. Tristana ban for T1, I think should happen too. Rel ban is good. I think Azir Nico is not bad. This has to be Tristana. Has to be, has to be, has to be. You can't give him red side Tristana. Has to be, just ban Nico now, I think. Or Sejuani or Nico? Maybe Sejuani actually. Maybe Sejuani. Sejuani or Nico? If you ban Sejuani, they get Nico. Which is really annoying and BDD got blasted in lane. If you ban Nico, they get Sejuani Aatrox. Or, or Count Pick on your Aatrox blind with Sejuani. Okay, give them the Nico. But don't pick Ari into it. Ooh, they want Zaya. KT, do not play Nico Nocturne. Do not play Nico Nocturne. Take away Rakan. Take away Rakan. Take Nico, maybe. You know, don't fucking Nocturne, please. Poppy? Poppy pick is good here. T1 would pick it away against Rakan. Now, T1, what are we cooking? What do we cook here? They could go for Nico themselves. Really Jungle is a bit game, tricky here. Oh my god, they're the ones doing the Nocturne game. Nocturne Nico? Are they going to do the Nocturne Nico? It, it's so explosive. It's a shotgun game. If you all in and win, you win. If you fuck up and fall behind, it's over. Okay, T pick Zeri. Yeah, I'm building this surprise there. Nico not they could pick by the existence of Poppy and her stat first press. I mean, we've talked about no. the power of player for a Dropping while. AD, He's you get a bit when it punished. Meta, when it wasn't even fringe. He's Voltus just so ban, good. good. I think Leona ban is not bad from KT T1. here. T1 should definitely target mid. Maybe Annie? So this time is Annie around. a problem? Ari? Yeah. LeBlanc, maybe? I'm scared for Rumble on T1 as well. If they blind Rumble here, what's Keen's response? Nico Nocturne Rumble? I think KT should think about Rumble here. They think about Aatrox. We, I'm scared for them if they pick Rumble on 4 or 5. I think BDD will play Telly or any, 100%. Yone, I don't like. They're gonna blind Rumble. I, I can feel it, man. What are they gonna do? Like, Rumble Leona? He's gonna play Cassante into it. Vagar! Vagar. I think Rumble Leona here is it's GG, no? It's, you have to follow up with your comp, but... I think it's your best bet. Is it a Cassante? Tank, Orn? Yeah. Okay, fine. I already thought they would go for the Rumble. Zeus' Rumble has been insane. I mean, he'll just pick Gwen then, I guess. And we'll call it Orn. Nar. Oh my god, that is full comfort, isn't it? That is the Zayus classic. It's his best champ. What does Keen play? Fiora? No. What's a Keen classic here? Yeah, or anything, I guess. So Lehen's warded middle brush bot for early bot contests, but Keria swept it. Started with Sweeper. That's really good for them. Lehen's doesn't have to flash level 1. Pog champ, good start. Damn. He's taking a lot of damage. He also got zoned from those XP. I think he lost two melees of XP. He's only level one still. Luckily for them, or oh, minus one. There's no poppy on the enemy team, so if there was a poppy on blue side here, that's a bot dive. Actually, CS is not as bad as I thought it would be. It's bad, but it's not that bad. Owner can steal this if he wants it. He doesn't have vision. He does have vision. He's gonna sneak through mid to bot grab. He knows poppy's gonna go to Krugs. God, this is a horror lane for BDD. 
the Faker is gapping him so hard. Exactly Nocturne to six, to here is and bot lane right stomping in isolation. Baker still has TP. Uh, they're, they're, really they're 1k gold up from lane phase almost. The lane Lens phase wants to hold this a bit. And I'm and, uh, this hold and actually makes the lane a lot better. As well, right? like, what is it this overstay was really good by Lehens. Saved the lane, so the CS should be a bit more it even now. But the fact is, Guma got a way better base, and he got two plates. Should be about a 12 CS deficit after that. Break start from T1 is good. It's always going to be free with this much bot tomorrow. mid push. I think first rake's always gone. That's when it and Faker not going to get balefully struck. And now he wants to the flash him into the stun. They get the stun. Yeah. Ulti comes through but I think Kaz is dead here. They have healed though. Down as well. They're trying to catch the Poppy, but he's so incredibly durable. But so is Faker. He just Owner? moves his way out, and now it's Ono. Oh, he's scratching him. And that's going to be first. He has a fear too. So you can see the tech right there, the flash poppy E into the Vagar cage. But yeah, they don't have the damage. Faker has Merc Treads. Uh, three plates in bot. It's a bot diff right now. Bot diff and jungle is so far ahead. Harold's gone. I mean, they can't fight anything, can they? Maybe they can get her in time. Oh, Keen wants it. They stole it. Oh, BDD. Oh, they got him. Faker's ult doesn't really do much. Faker has no flash either. Zeus is trying his best, but I think he's going to die. Nice flash. Wow, that's huge for KT. Keen, I think Keen knew if they gave that Herald, it was doomed. I think they knew it was doomed if they gave that. They insta-Herald mid to try and get some pressure. Get some gold to BDD. BDD has TP here. BDD could do the Ari strat from last game. If Lehens... He doesn't have a ward, though. Aiming has a ward, though. They have TP advantage. They could try to ward middle brush. Oh, Zarya static. That'll free up a lot of bot pressure. Oh, he W'd into owner's W. Would have insta-killed Nocturne. Alright, so T1, big bot, big bot lead. Top is still kinda even. Mid is still winning. Drake's up in 50. T1 needs to force this Drake. I think KT will probably give it. I'm looking at these Vagar items and I'm thinking, hmm. Can they roll an Infernal Soul is the question. And so they haven't got very good odds. Lane. Cloud, Chemtech, Ocean. Ah, they're crazy here, KT, the if they fight this. Games. They have no cleanse on aiming, so no items on BDD. There is no cross map, though. Drift. What has yeah, BDD I mean, got in base really on this TP back? They're fighting this. They want to lose. It's mind-blowing that they're fighting this. I'm actually shocked. I'm shocked that they're fighting this. In what world is that a good fight? In what universe? Maybe if Renekton can collapse and be there, but... Good turn by T1, good kills, but I don't know why KT's even trying that. Though. Like, they full burst this Nocturne, they don't do any damage here. Faker's ult interrupts their whole engage, Guma ult interrupts the kill on Zaya. T1 wins, they go to Worlds. T1 yeah, wins, they go to Worlds, and they play in the that. finals tomorrow the right against Gen G. Well, exact same story for KT. Again, I'm not sure KT if it's a good fight. But I think they have to at least try to contest. Can't give everything. Keen doesn't want to base because he's going to lose bot tower if he does that. There's the puppy ult. Completely whiffed it. And missed the smite. Baker didn't get the best of engages. Oh, and he gets stunned into the wall. Vagar ult didn't go off though. PDD didn't ult him. So top TP trade. Poppy flash goes down from mid jungle on T1. No one gets the herald buff. Well, um, why didn't PDD ult here on the Faker when he's stunned into the wall? He 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 cues as well. We shouldn't be greedy. No, I think exactly, KT exactly. needs time, sure but T1 anyway. will just it's keep forcing. Like here, for example, this instance, KT have going. to drop Drake, yeah. right? BDD um, is going to have to run from top, drop three, three creeps, four creeps, all the way down to get Drake, and they're going to have to contest this, I guess. And, this is a and they're going to lose a top tier too. So this situation of the map for KT is terrible. Like BDD is now running back top because he realized they can't fight it. But now he's running back bot, now he's running back top, and now they've lost a top tier too. BDD is just yeah, blundering. He, he doesn't know what to do. He could have just cleared the wave and they wouldn't have lost this. But because he doesn't have TP, he's getting sucked into his team saying, let's fight Drake. And now he can't. And now he's gonna. Now BDD is going back bot and now he's going back top. He's. he's I don't know. KT just need to make a choice. Is it gone or not? It's fine if it's gone. It's also fine if you want to fight. Now it's much easier because top wave's pushed out far enough that he's not actually gonna lose anything. 
Now if they lose this fight, it's even worse. Fiona have good setup. Nara's bot. He's got Mega proc now though, Zeus. Just proc Mega. Should be fine. Or, this is everything for KT if they don't, don't get the straight or, or if they don't get the fight. This is everything. The turn is terrible. They knocked away Zaya though. They Rakan ulted a clone. They failed the turn onto Nocturne. They're all gonna have to run here. They want to stay. Here comes Faker. Oh my god. Mars BD's cage. King might die to owner. Oh, say he was flashed over. BDD's gonna die. Keen's dead as well. They might go Baron here. T1. Might be a Baron angle. KT got the Drake, but at what cost? You lost bot tower. Mid to, uh, top tier two. You lost two people and you might lose Nash now. These decisions by KT are so bad. They're a bit all over the place. This should be it. If they get this Nash, it's it. That's it. If Cuz can steal it, they have a chance. There's a lot of standing gold on the map. T1, don't do a T1 Baron. Oh my god, Carrier doesn't want a T1 Baron. Oh, it's a T1 Baron! There's no way! Oh my god! There is so much standing goal on the map. They have all tier 1s up. They only have one buff now, I think, though, or two. This was just a mess. It's all a mess. Like, watch, watch, watch Keen here. He restarts the dragon, tanks the whole dragon, goes down to like 20% HP. Owner is just gonna run at him in a second. And then Keen kind of has to like dash away through the dragon. He W's the, the knock. Poppy gets the Drake. Owner kills Keen. Zeus kills BDD. Now the question is, can they get the standing gold? Can they get it? Can they get bots or one? I don't know if they can. I think side lane towers are your best bet. Oh, owner's ulting for this. Faker has Majai's on Nico. That's a that's a risky one. Respect though. Aiming swing at bot wave. He needs Renan's in base here. KT are calling for Zeri recall, I think, but he can't recall. He's level 15? What? How is Zeri level 15? Vagar's level 13, Zeri's level 15? He was side laning with the Baron, wasn't he? Oh no, face checked! Oh my god, that was close. Why didn't Lehen's ult him there? This is another one where I think KT should just give it. But they're gonna throw themselves at it. Level 15, there's the rod proc for BDD, I think. Look at the waves, this is such a bad fight. Look for an engage, maybe. But KT's looking for an engage. Dragon's down, but they're trying to zone them off mid so they can get this tower. That's a big crack for KT. I think this Zeri must be sitting on so much gold. Nash in 24. If aiming shows on top wave here... That's a flash, maybe. Oh, Zeus got him with the boomerang. That's Baron, maybe. I think T1 should know after this mid-tier 1, a Baron angle is possible. Do they know that Zeri needs to base? I think they do. Carrier is going to polymorph him, maybe, here. There's the Nico ult, but there's no Hex Flash on Poppy. They should just finish here, T1. BDD is flashing in with Smite! He got it! He fucking got it! What? What? He got it! You're kidding! What? What? Oh Unreal. That's Zeri not serious. <laughs> no way in hell. He has 227 stacks. He is broke. This Vagar don't have stacks. 230 stacks, he's useless. It's all on aiming. Why does this feel like a finals? It's not even the finals. The finals is tomorrow. Knight's Vow on Poppy. Elixir of Sorcery on BDD. This is everything. Faker. Oh, Faker. Oh, Faker, Faker calm down. And the minion just exits. No GA on Guma. Like, nah. But Zeus nah. is really strong. Them up for the soul fight oh, owner! Uh -oh. I mean, cuz! What the fuck? Why did I think that was owner? Cleanses. And well, they got the cleanse out of Zaya well. and the Ludo Oh my god, he's cooking. No cleanse. I don't think Poppy needs flash anyway. They're rushing it, they're rushing it, they're rushing it with, with Nocturnal. It's gone. They have soul. Holy Guma. No flash on Poppy. Oh, Lehen's missed! Oh, Faker! Does he die? Keen's gonna die. Keen got out! BD's gonna get out too! Where's the where's the Vagar cage? Oh Keen! I think he sacrificed himself there for BDD. Zeus! Oh he jumped over it! He hit the tower! He hit the tower! 
He, oh, aiming! Aiming! Aiming's gonna live! Wait, can they end? Oh, no, it's gonna die, maybe! Is it over? BDD has TP! That might end! 20 seconds on Faker, I don't think they can. What the fuck? This was so scuffed by KT. He gets baited by the clone. Kuz gets chunked out. Lehens has to go in to save him, but he misses. Guma ults it. Faker, four man ults. Zeus gets Keen. Faker then dies. Keen lives for... I don't know how long this Renekton lives for, but he's still alive. I think Guma could have killed him earlier. Then BDD's in trouble. Keen then sacrifices himself, thinking that maybe they can turn on to Zeus here. By time. BDD gets out. Puts the cage on the entrance. And then Zeus flashes, jumps over. Hits the tower on the first auto. He would have killed him. Oh, wait, KT's rushing Baron. Wait, KT's rushing Nash. Go back to live! It's gone. Nash is gone. Unless... Oh, he got it! He got it! What the fuck? This is not serious. What is happening, man? Yo, it's it's soul in 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 not soul. It's fucking <laughs> elder. Three, three minutes. They got time. BDD's close to Rabadons. Guma's got GA. Zeus has GA. Owner's close to GA. They're gonna have triple GA for elder. I think that's triple GA with Nico Flash and a level 18 Zaya soon. I think it's over, right? It must be. Can a KT really play against Triple GA? How much more is there? I mean, they should get Rabadons before this and Renduins. But that's it, that's the breakpoints. I think it's T1 favorite. Very, very this is six items I assume with the Lulu. Vagar has 287 stacks. He's, really fuck like <laughs> he's, he's fucking like... He's fucking broke. Good pressure by T1. They can break the base now. This, this is going to be a top tower as well, I think, if that cannon can hit. Can hit. One minute on Elder. There's the Rabadons. GA is up for Zeri. I would say T1 is stronger in the next fight because they have triple GA now. Guma is farming for beat. For What is he farming for? Dominics? If he has Dominics, this is done. Phantom Dancer. He doesn't go LDR? Well, he's still six items. Maybe he didn't have enough. He probably didn't have enough for LDR. And he knows this is the last fight. Just go. Just go. And I wonder, like... Do you even... There we go. Okay, Whoa, Kerry has scared there. Oh my god, he's scared. They're rushing it. Poppy ult missed. They can knock two ults and finish again. Oh, Zeus scored. He has GA though. Faker. Good engage. They can finish Elder here. Owner's gonna get it. I think it's GG. Poppy got it. What? Cut stole it. How the hell? What the fuck? KT's gonna win! How the fuck did Poppy get that? What the fuck? Oh, he ulted the wrong way! He got him though! He holds! He holds! He holds! They only have one Elder and it's on Zeri, but they lost... T1 lost so much from that fight. They lost Nico Flash, they lost two GAs. It's gonna be a free Nash for KT. What the fuck? Zeus gets caught. Lehens has to disengage. Guma's free hitting. Nars out. Faker goes in with owner. They go on to BDD. And then it's just Keen and aiming versus three men. Zeus gets GA'd. Poppy gets it because owner. I don't know where the fuck owner went, but he went out the pit by the looks of it. I thought he was in the pit. Uh, they have Elder on Zeri still, though, for a minute. That's an Elder Zeri with six items, T1. And you want to force Baron? Poppy was dead. They want to get it before she respawns. I think 4v5 is a problem though. Faker! They got, they got the Vagar! Look at it go! Oh no! They got the GA! They need to kill the Seri! Where's the Gnarled? They got him! Is it over? Kaz! I think T1 won! Kaz is gonna die? They have no waves! They have no waves! They have no waves! They have one wave! They have one wave! BDD needs to clear it somehow. They have no Nash buff. He has Ghost. I think he can get the wave, you know. Oh, he missed the W. Oh, he hit. Guma's just fucking going in on him. He's just going in. He just flashed under that. Guma! He fucking ends those. He fucking ends those. Oh, my God. 
Respect to Guma. My man fucking goes in. He fucking goes in. Guma fucks.